The Dragonfire is a prototype laser that's cost more than £140 million to develop. It claims to be able to shoot down an object the size of a pound coin from more than a mile away. It destroys targets with an intense beam of light and has pinpoint accuracy. The world is witnessing a new era of warfare, where speed and agility are the key factors for victory. Hypersonic missiles, which are missiles that fly at speeds above Mach 5, are the latest and most formidable threat that many nations have to face. These missiles can evade and outrun any existing air defense system and can cause massive destruction with their kinetic energy and warheads. Many countries, such as Russia, China, and Iran, have been developing and testing these missiles, posing a serious challenge to the security and stability of the world. How can this threat be countered? What kind of weapon can stop these missiles before they reach their targets? The UK may have the answer. The UK has just deployed a weapon that can effectively counter this threat. This weapon can effectively take down any form of air attack, including hypersonic missiles. So what kind of weapon is this exactly? And what does this mean for the balance of power in the world, especially in the West? Join us as we discuss how the UK just fired the world's most powerful direct energy weapon. In early 2017, a consortium led by MBDA, a European missile manufacturer, received a 30 million pound contract from the MOD Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, also called the DSTL, to develop a prototype of a laser-directed energy weapon, LDEW. This project was named Dragonfire. It was a prestigious project that attracted a lot of attention and media coverage, but the initial progress was slow and there were rumors that the project had hit a snag. However, behind Behind the scenes, the consortium continued to work steadily and diligently, and in October 2022, they revealed the results of the first trials against static targets at the DSTL port and downrange. The trials showed that the LDEW could accurately and reliably hit and destroy targets with a high-energy laser beam. In July 2023, the consortium conducted low-power tracking trials at the Hebrides range, where they demonstrated that the LDEW could detect and follow movement targets with precision and stability. In October 2023, they achieved another major milestone by firing a high-power shot that resulted in the annihilation of a moving aerial target. This was the UK's first and proved that British LDEW technology was advanced and mature enough to form the basis of an operational capability. The UK's Ministry of Defense has recently released declassified footage of this laser weapon showing its impressive capabilities and performance. Dragonfire fires a high-powered beam that travels at the speed of light, the fastest thing in the universe. It is so precise, it can burn a target the size of a coin from a kilometer away, leaving no chance for escape or evasion. The footage and imagery, which have never been seen before by the public, show the laser cannon in action at a site in the Hebrides, a remote archipelago off the coast of Scotland. The video also includes CGI footage of the laser weapon shooting down military drones out of the sky, demonstrating one of Dragonfire Fire's potential real-life use cases. The Dragonfire laser weapon is a cutting-edge technology that can enhance the UK's defense capabilities and readiness. The Dragonfire Consortium is a collaborative effort that leverages the strengths of different participants, each with their own expertise and contribution. MBDA, which leads the project, has provided the command and control system and the advanced image processing and tracking algorithms, drawing on their experience from their missile portfolio. Kinetic Q, a British defense and security company, Company has provided fiber amplifiers that generate laser sources. The core of Dragonfire is based on efficient, solid-state fiber optic laser technology, which uses tens of glass fibers to carry and combine light into a single powerful beam. The exact methods used for combining beams are one of the most sensitive and secretive aspects of the UK technology as they determine the quality and intensity of the laser. Leonardo, an Italian aerospace and defense company, has built a beam director, the most visible and distinctive part of Dragonfire fire and has tackled one of the toughest challenges in LDEW development. To deliver the heat energy to the target, the beam must stay precisely focused on a very small area, about the size of a one-pound coin, even at distances several kilometers. This focus must be maintained while both the target and the source may be moving at high speeds and changing directions. Leonardo has some prior experiences with this challenge gained while developing the MISIS-directed infrared countermeasure system for aircraft, which uses lasers to disrupt 
disrupt infrared optical guidance used by many missile systems. Dragonfire is initially guided to the target by an external sensor, usually a radar, which provides the course tracking data that points the system in the general direction of the target. Then, it takes over the precise visual tracking using its own sensors and algorithms to lock on and engage the target with its high-energy laser beam. One of the most critical components of the Dragonfire laser weapon is the series of fast-moving mirrors that are used to steer the beam. These mirrors can move and rotate at high speeds, allowing the beam to follow and hit moving targets. To ensure the beam stays exactly focused on the target, high-speed cameras and advanced algorithms provide continuous feedback and rapidly adjust the mirrors accordingly. The control must be exceptionally accurate as even tiny adjustments in the position of the mirrors can result in large deviations of the beam at distances of several kilometers from the source. To protect the mirrors from being damaged by powerful laser technology, Leonardo has chosen special materials and developed low-absorption coating technologies that can withstand heat and pressure. This laser weapon could offer a cost-effective solution to counter short-range missiles, which are often more costly than the targets they aim to destroy. This could be relevant to conflicts such as the ongoing Houthi attacks in the Red Sea, which have mainly used drone warfare to strike at ships and ports. Also, since the UK is a close ally of America, it is likely that the U.S. will have access to this weapon and use it for its own purposes or share it with its partners. The U.S. might also be interested in supplying Ukraine, Taiwan, and even Israel with this weapon to enhance their defense capabilities and deter their adversaries. Directed energy weapons have many advantages over conventional projectile firing systems. The most obvious benefit, especially for the maritime domain, is that they do not run out of ammunition, unlike munition stocks that can be quickly depleted. This avoids the need for resupply and a complex logistic chain. An LDEW shot will only cost a few dollars compared to hundreds of dollars per round for advanced gun ammunition or missiles that can cost millions of dollars. LDEW can also react quickly to very fast and agile targets that can evade or outrun missiles. The need to fire a missile, calculate an intercept course, and potentially make extreme maneuvers in the final phase is eliminated. While the idea of blasting enemies for a low price is understandably attractive to military forces, there is a reason why the tech is still in the testing phase. LDEW can also be aimed very precisely, selecting a specific part of the target and avoiding collateral damage and casualties. The power of the laser can also be adjusted for a graduated response depending on the situation and the threat. This could range from jamming of electro-optical EO sensors or, controversially, temporarily blinding pilots and aircrew to causing limited but not disabling damage up to complete destruction of some targets. However, LDEW will not be a perfect solution, but it will be a complement to the missiles and guns of warship. Lasers only work in direct line of sight and are limited by the horizon. The power and range of LDEW can be significantly reduced by smoke, pollutants, salt, and sand particles in the atmosphere. Water vapor and fog can also reduce effectiveness, which is a particular concern for lasers in maritime environments. This can be mitigated to some extent by tuning the lasers to use light wavelengths that are less affected by water vapor. Another important challenge in the development of more powerful LDEW is the thermal blooming effect, which occurs when the air around the beam is heated up by the laser technology, causing the beam to lose focus and intensity. This is a particular issue when facing a missile threat head-on as the beam's position will be relatively fixed. Engaging crossing targets is less problematic as a moving beam has less impact on the surrounding air. Since LDEW depends on thermal energy to damage or destroy their targets, there are two possible ways to counter them. One way is to use obscurance, such as smoke, to scatter the beam and reduce its effectiveness. However, this is a solution of limited utility, especially in the marine environment where the weather and the water can interfere with the obscurance. Another way is to use heat-resistant reflective materials or ablative thermal protection systems that can withstand or deflect the laser energy while protecting the item they are applied to. For example, the noses of supersonic and hypersonic missiles are already covered with thermal shielding to protect them from the heat generated by air friction at high speed, making them difficult targets for head-on engagement by LDEW. However, in the long run, as the power of LDEW 
AEW's increases, it may become impossible to protect missiles from focused laser energy without increasing their weight beyond what is aerodynamically feasible. As a technology demonstrator, Dragonfire is still far from becoming an operational capability, and it will depend on the MOD's decision to pursue development further. Many of the components are of commercial, off-the-shelf standard, which means they're not designed for military use and would need to be replaced by much more robust and reliable military spec equivalents. The system is nominally rated as a 50-kilowatt class weapon, but it has been deliberately designed to be scalable up or down in power to provide a flexible basis for a variety of future weapons. In addition to the upper deck-mounted beam director, which is the most visible part of the system, a shipboard installation would require about the same space below deck as a shipping container for the laser source and various racks for electronics. It would also need to be integrated with the ship's combat system, which is the central system that controls and coordinates all the weapons and sensors on board. The electrical power requirement is often somewhat exaggerated, but LDEW does need either a battery bank or a large capacitor to meet the peak power demands. Post-PIP Type 45 destroyers and Type 26 frigates, which are the newest and most advanced warships in the Royal Navy, will certainly have enough spare power generation capacity to support at least a 50-kilowatt class system. Despite delivering large pulses of energy, LDEWs do not create interference with the ship's own radars and electronic warfare systems, which are essential for detecting and defending against threats. The DF Consortium, which is the team of companies and organizations that are working on the Dragonfire project, is confident that, depending on the laser power requirement, they can achieve a considerable reduction in weight and space requirements. LDEW is a realistic option for mounting on Army fighting vehicles such as tanks and armored personnel carriers, and possibly even an airborne version for GCAP Tempest, which is the UK's future combat air system. Dragonfire is expected to be mounted on military vessels in five years' time, even though laser weapons still have some issues to iron out. However, with generous military budgets, the U.S. alone is spending $1 billion on laser weapon R&D each year, and some of the most brilliant scientific minds, it is likely that it will only be a matter of time before deadly laser cannons become part of the arsenal of armies. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.